Are you bored with your digital snapshots? You want to make them stand out a little more? Why not age them and give your photos an old-timey feel? Here to help us out with that is Photoshop Maven TV Garage's Alex Lindsay. Thank you very much. This is very exciting. Now, I remember when, uh, when I was a kid, you could go to, like, Great America or a theme park and get one of those pictures on the plate where you had to stand there with no smile. <laughs> but you don't have to do that anymore. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All of that stuff can be something that uh, you can just do in Photoshop. Photoshop will do this in minutes. Excellent. We'll All right. So here we've got our digital picture. So I've got a picture, and this is our, my, uh, my class in Zimbabwe. Cool. And uh, what I want to do is make it look like it was shot 100 years ago. Mm -hmm. you know? And so the first thing I'm going to do is a lot of times you, know, th you get this little uh, vignette going around the outside. So it's a little right. darker as you go around the outside from the frame or from sun or whatever. So People handling it. Exactly. So we're going to add a new layer. One of the things we're going to do in this, in this uh, session is we're going to make sure that we don't do any damage to our bottom layer. Right, so we're gonna, and that being the picture. Exactly. The, the, the picture, we're, we're going to always go back to the pristine picture. So we're going to keep on adding things on top of it, but not actually doing anything to the photo itself. Okay. All right, so, so I'm going to create this new layer. And uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to select all. So we're just going to go Command or Control A. You'll use this a lot. So, um, mm -hmm. so we're going to select all. That just grabs our, you get these little marching ants that, are, that um, go around the entire outside. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use a, a little area called Stroke, a little edit feature. Now what this will do is it will just create a black line where the selection was. Okay. So I'm going to set it for 20 pixels thick okay. and black. And there we have it. And there it is. Like now, a little frame. It looks like a little frame, but what we want is like a soft vignette. So right. the next step is to blur it, and we're going to use the blur filter and the, the Gaussian blur. Right. We don't ever want to really use the blur and blur more. Right, we because just, they're, no, they're no good, is basically. They're, they're you know, sophomore. You oh, know, okay. so, uh, so, uh, so anyway, so we're going to add, and we'll make it 20 pixels as well, so we just have this nice, soft um, okay. uh, fade out. This kind of gives like a little halo around exactly. the Exactly. Now we could decide, you know, maybe it's too much. We could go in and, and grab our opacity and drop it down if we wanted to, so we can make it a little less. So we can go back and forth, um, you know, and play, play play with this to uh, kind of get just the look we want. Mm -hmm. So now the next step is we want to start coloring it, you know, because it wouldn't have these vibrant colors if it was that old. That's true. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a special, what's called an adjustment layer. Mm -hmm. Okay, now normally when we do adjustments, we go up to this image area and we have adjustments here, and we can add levels and curves and hue and saturation and so on and so forth. By adding it down here, it's, it's it's once again, not, it's a non-destructive edit. It doesn't okay. do anything to the original photo. So we can... Uh, we're sort gonna of add adding it on top of the photo. Exactly. And okay. it just processes all the layers below it. All right. So we're going to add a hue and saturation. And now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to colorize it. So now it's, it's just basically all put it into one, one color. Now we can turn the saturation up to see what we're doing and start moving around and figuring out what color we like. Uh, we may say, you know, we're looking for something kind of yellowish, you know, old. So that's... That looks pretty good. That looks good. And then we'll desaturate it. So we'll bring it down to something maybe like that. So now we have kind of this older kind nice. of feel to the, to the image. Now, the next thing is that a lot of these old films, and especially as film sits around, it gets more, you know, it can get real contrasty. So, right. so we're going to do another adjustments layer, and we're going to add a levels. So here, this, and we talked about this. If you want to go back to the Call for Help website, you'll see all of this old stuff. I talked about levels in detail okay. a couple weeks ago. So and then how to adjust them. And, and stuff. how to adjust them and what they all do. But what we're going to do is we're going to clamp down on some of the black areas. So make it a little darker in the black areas. And mm -hmm. we're also going to kind of see if I bring this way in, you know, it looks like a Woo! Yeah, nuclear explosion. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so the, uh, but I'll bring it down a little bit. So now we have, and if I turn this on and off, you can see that I just made it more contrasty. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to bring some of the black levels up so that I don't, so it kind of has that faded, it's been right. sitting outside for a while. So Definitely not something you shot yesterday. Exactly. So I'm going to bring this, you know, maybe up to something like, like that. So now we have this kind of faded look mm -hmm. um, in the process. Okay. Wow. So now Quite a difference in just a few changes so far. Yeah, just a few made. changes, and we're already kind of going down that path. Now right. the next thing is, is the digital camera took it nice and clean, but we want some grain, some yeah. film grain. So we're going to add a new layer. And we're going to add a magic color in Photoshop, which is 50% gray. 50% gray. It's neutral. The answer is 12. Exactly. <laughs> so 50% gray. Um, a, lot of built, a lot of layer operations um, cue off of 50% gray. Okay. So we're going to add this, and it creates a neutral. And, well, and there, yeah. there goes the picture. Yeah, well, okay. Well, the session's over. Right, anyway, so, <laughs> um, no, so the 50% gray, if I change it to overlay, mm -hmm. now this layer has no effect on the layers below it. Right. Now, what's going to happen is, is anything that's brighter than 50% gray will lighten the photo below it. Anything darker will darken the photo below it. It'll right. either do a screen or multiply. All right. Right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add some grain to, that, to, to this layer. 
Because okay. we didn't want to add grain and actually damage the photo. We needed a, a neutral layer that we could work with. So here's some grain, and it's really grainy. We can move this up and down, but 400% is fine. Yeah, Gaussian, right. monochromatic. Okay. And uh, now, well, it's, it's a little messy. So, um, but we can bring down the opacity to something very subtle. We'll leave it. So it's almost hardly noticeable, but yet it's still exactly. And that's the way you want to think it. about using Photoshop a lot. Okay. Is actually doing things in in little subtleties. You want to do lots of little things mm -hmm. with with 10% here and 15% there, because then no one can really figure out what you did. It's not some filter that you put together. Right. You know, it's just that you know you can you really play with it. Okay? okay. Now we'll add a little bit more clumpy grain just to kind of have a little bit more fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new layer, one more time, and we're going to fill it with gray. And this time, we're going to add another filter, which is under the sketch. And we're going to go into a thing called reticulation. Reticulation. Yeah. I think you learned that in school, how yes. to reticulate. I don't even know how to spell it. So, <laughs> so anyway, uh, but I, don't I don't even know what it means. It. Yeah, so, exactly. you know. so what, what we have here is a, uh, is the, they look like little cells, like little grains. And this is like when, when film sometimes can get real bunched up. Mm -hmm. So this will create that, that effect. And so now we have this, and we're going to change it. Instead of overlay, we'll use vivid light, which is kind of like overlay, um, but slightly different. And, okay. um, wow. And, uh, yeah, a little too much once again. Right. But, when we but that's down, 100% when you put that about 100%, in. so we'll, we'll bring it down to something like 12. And you can see it. It's really subtle, but it has this little kind of pock marks that kind of appear on their jeans and on, you know, some of the smoother mm -hmm. areas. It kind of breaks it up. Yeah. So, so now the final step to really just kind of sell this is to add some crackling. Okay. So we want this to, thing to look like it's got it's been folded a couple times and some right. of the photos jammed in a shoe box at the back <laughs> of the closet. Exactly. So what we're going to use is this crackle paint. Okay. So and this is this is actually yeah. This is a real picture of crackled paint. Exactly. From Which Alcatraz. Takes that whole watching paint dry to another Exactly. And this was this Go was created in, in Alcatraz over a hundred years and wow. we went and captured it and we used stuff like this photographic reference all mm -hmm. the time to really get realistic effects because it would take me a long time to draw that. Yeah. You know, and it would never look as good. Right. So we got real crackles. Exactly. So so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna invert it. So I'm gonna hit command I or um, control I if you're using a PC. All right. Oops, and the invert makes the, everything the makes all the black stuff white and all the white stuff black. Exactly. Kind of like a negative. Exactly. So um, so now we have it all inverted and what we're gonna do is we're simply gonna screen it over top of our oh. background. And we've and got, we have it. you know, now we have some little crackles in there. That That's we really cool. It's a lot of fun. And it didn't take very long. I, I, no. Anybody could do that as it's long as they have a Photoshop. In fact, if you go up to the, to the Call for Help website, Absolutely. you're going to see I have a step-by-step. -step, and, the, and the truth is, is that I couldn't do everything on the show. Right. So it's like 20 minutes long. On the, there's like a video that, that I put up there that, that, that really walks you through about another 10 or 15 things you could do to this to make it even look cooler. All right. And, and, as, and it also, I also have a PDF up there that is a step-by-step. 31 to, steps of how to add wow, a whole 30, bunch of other stuff. steps. And it's all really, even if you've never used Photoshop, you'll be able to make it through. Excellent. So then head on over to our website if you want the step-by-step -step instructions. You can get them. TechTV.com slash call for help. As Alex mentioned, he's got the complete write-up plus links to all the old tips that he's done. So if you fall behind or you missed how to adjust colors or anything, don't worry about it. We've got it all on the website.